Hello and welcome to round four with Mono White Eldrazi. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we'll we'll go to five today. I guess I should have known that that six a couple rounds ago was bad, or five, seven. Because the premise of Eldrazi is that your cards are individually better than each of your opponent's cards on a one-for-one -one basis. So you can afford to ship. It's not like the uh, stupid stacks decks of old where you need a million cards to do anything. Jeez. See this four-card? See, this four-card hand is great. This four card hand is no longer great. My hand is a disaster. I'm gonna lose the game immediately. So, so yeah, I can put my. So they're at 18. I deal 16 over two attacks. Probably dead. Oh, Tropical Island. Death Ray Shaman gets Taxi Probe. That's so much less scary. That's just like cards. Whew. I was thinking I was against Storm here. I don't know how my opponent's going to beat a Reality Smasher. With their Sultai Delver deck. No! I had hopes and dreams. Why would you do that to me? That's so not nice. It's going to get bolted. I liked permanence. I want them to come back. You're a little late to the party, Thalia. I guess my opponent hasn't cast a single non-creature spell since turn one. So, Thalia, you're, you're fine. You showed up at a decent time. What is my opponent doing in response? They're brainstorming on upkeep? Loose. Please, please let me draw City of Traders and punish them. This is no fun. Yeah, this deck's a little soft to Wasteland. I think trading damage is right here. My goal is just to like slam a smasher at some point, and I need to get my opponent reasonably into range here. No, no, I, that's that's good enough. I need permanence and spells and things. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, four cards. That was a good fight for four cards. Uh, so. I don't want another thorn on the play. I like Ratchet Bone a lot. Warping Whale's not bad. I'm not huge on Rest in Peace against Grixis. I was boarding a sword last time. Don't like Dismember. Really don't like Revoker. Even though it stops uh, Death Rite. I was boarding on one of these. Then I board into the other sword on the draw. I think I did that right.
trying to think. I think Mox Diamond's been better than Lotus Petal most of the time. There was just that one hand that was like... <sighs> the the Temple hand I would have been that I lost with would have been better, but I don't think it would have been great with uh, Petal. Would I have changed anything significantly with Petal? Not sure. I really think Stone Forge Mystic is... Besides the Storm matchup, it felt like that's like a really good fit for this deck. Hmm. Maybe I just want Stoneforge... and uh, Displacer. Maybe just Displacer, honestly. It's hard to say. I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually learning from this. Containment Freeze has not felt like it would have been good in any of these matchups. But it's because it's just like a very specific cyborg card. Uh, definitely down for some of this business. Just thinking about the correct creature to play on one. Probably just Stoneforge, actually. Discard Cavern, play Tomb, take two, Stoneforge up, Batter Skull, and just kind of jam it. I guess I get Thalia on one, though. All I know is I'm discarding Cavern of Souls here. I'll just make this play and see how it goes. I feel like Batter Skull early is just such a breaker here. I guess I could get Therapied. I didn't really think about too much. It's possible that Stoneforge is kind of at an all-time low because of the prevalence of therapy right now. It's in the Grixis decks and the Storm decks. That's fine. Land, land, land! Rawr! Yeah, this hand would have not been keepable with a Lotus Petal. Definite vote for Diamond. Thalia. I wish you luck. Yeah, Stoneforge really fits what's going on here. Just kind of make a big idiot, have a couple lock pieces and kill them before they do anything. Sure. That's perfect. You can time walk yourself to trade for the Thalia that I already have an extra of. The Horizon Canopy has not been good, by the way. I think that's just... I'm off of it. I think that Ancient Tomb actually strains your mana a little more because you only have a limited number of taps of it. So I would definitely cut that. Well. JK. I am the land and destruction deck. I'm clicking so fast. I just want to cast the Stalia after this resolves. I'm 
take a million D billion D. Yeah. Good. We did it. Then that thorn never made it into my deck. Did something not make it out? Oh, one revoker snuck its way back in. <sighs> Just max our ability to kill stuff. I think you can definitely sequence in this matchup to Chalice after. Especially on the draw, because like they usually deploy a lot of their stuff that gets Chaliced first. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Ugh. Well. Opponent's on five. I have a Stone Forge Mystic and a Chalice. Does it get better than this? I think this is fine. I can't keep that because it's not a land. I've actually felt pretty good about the number of mana sources in my deck for what it's worth. This is just so awkward, I can't even believe it. But it's what's happening. Yes! I'm so happy about that. It probably has like a brainstorm in a land or something. Oh, Delver, sure. Well, I'm certainly not playing this Chalice of the Void right now. My opponent has two cards and I need to cast my swords. Sweet. Take the beats. Please draw a land. Really? This is just a sick joke. Don't flip. Please don't flip. Yes! Oh, uh, really? Okay, okay. That one has to die first, for sure. Land. Just, I need you to have a land on the top. Uh, okay, so I go to nine. Actually, I'm not... If I draw another white source, I think I'm okay. I'm no longer okay. Another white source might actually do it. Can Mystic to Batter Skull. Seven, three. It's exact. He's probably still dead, though. So I swords this for sure. <sighs> yeah, I'm dead. Even if I draw GTA, I can't gain the life back. That's a sad outcome. I was pretty close to just getting out of that game there with the one lander against the Delvers. My opponent did mulligan a ton too. Yeah, your mana is definitely way more under attack in this format than it is in Vintage, which is a big issue for this deck. Uh, 